Cannabis Community for another installment of Stone Reviews. We have Haley Hayes here, and I am Jay Papers, and today we are reviewing a hot box. Yes, the Hot Box Limited Care Pack. Um, this is their holiday hot box. They have one for a couple different holidays. I know the next one coming up is Valentine's Day, and then they also have a 420 one. Um, but this is this came shortly before. Uh, the Christmas holidays. We weren't here to receive it. We were out of the country. That's why this video is so late. But um, we're going to tell you about some of the stuff that we got. Starting with the first thing, and as you can see, we're both wearing hot box shirts. Jay is wearing the hot box shirt from the previous uh, limited care pack, the Halloween one. Be sure to check that video out. I'm sure there'll be a link, maybe right here, right here. And um, I'm wearing the holiday hot box shirt that we got in this package. And then another shirt that we got is the... Which goes with the holiday theme being that it's green and red. It is the burn box shirt. So as we know, hot box and burn box are um, <clears throat> friends with each other. Yes, so. hot box, the one subscription program that they... Hotbox Approve is Burnbox, and we are strong supporters of them as well. If you sign up for Burnbox, make sure you get a discount and use 10% uh, off code JHAYS. Uh, it's a code that never expires, so. Alright, so we also got some info cards. We have a Burnbox info card. Uh, it tells you how to sign up for Burnbox. Um, some other stickers. Um, Grab Labs, if you see I'm sporting a Grab Labs. Yes, this is the my, uh, sticker of the day. On my um, head, because uh, we like Grab Labs pieces, so yeah. we um, <laughs> support them. Um, some other stickers in here, um, and some more uh, cards. Here's one for the Bud Bottle, which you'll see here. We'll talk about it a little later, but they gave us an info card on that. So some of these things that we get, we're not exactly sure how to use them. And it's nice to have a little info card that tells you what it's about. And, what the, um, the company is about. <clears throat> All right, so uh, next up we have uh, this, this vaporizer here. It's made by Source. Source 10 Sig. Source Vapes, yeah, it's a 10 Sig vape pen for, <coughs> excuse me, dry herb and wax. <coughs> it's got a very small chamber. It's a good one to two hitter. Um, this is actually the first time we're using it. We don't use the smaller vape pens as much anymore. Um, but this is an on the go. go. Uh, I really like the feel of it. Um, it's nice and smooth and has an executive feel. But it's USB chargeable. It comes with a little dab tool. Um, and as you see, when I push the button, hold it for a couple seconds. Yep. And then it vaporizes the flower that we put in there a little bit earlier. All right, so that's the Source 10 e-sig, uh, or SIG. We each got hooked up with that. Hotbox knew that we were gonna be reviewing some of their products, so they gave us both one of those nice, neat vape pens. Yep, and we filled it up with some headbands. That's what we're smoking today. Yes. Um, also, for your vape pen, we got the Vape Buddy, and this thing's awesome. I have it in my car. Will it hold a vape or is it a small? Let's see. Yeah. There you yeah. go. So you can stick this anywhere, stick it to your computer, stick it in your car, to your desk somewhere. So you don't lose your vape pen. I can't tell you how many times I've lost a vape pen by leaving it in my lap and it falling out of my car and then getting run over. So, you don't want to lose your weight vape pen, vape buddy is a good way to go. Um, let's see, another thing that we got were a couple of raw products. We got the perforated raw gum tips and a raw mini clipper. We tried oh, yeah, mini the clipper. tips. I like this. I always <laughs> you roll with tips and I was happy to get this. Um, it's got a little perforation on one edge <coughs> and you can bend it. It makes it much easier to bend. And then it's actually gummed on this side right here, so you lick it, and when you roll it up, it actually sticks. It doesn't come undone. So I really like those. As you can tell, they gave us 33 of them, and I'm down to one. So. <laughs> yeah, we really ran, went through those. 
Um, another thing is we got a buddy storage tube. We've noticed that these are starting to become a little bit more popular. We're getting them in a couple of more of our boxes um, in comparison to like the dupe tube, which we also did get one of in our uh I like these tubes pack. because um, a lot of times I'll, I'll smoke uh, maybe half a blunt and then I want to keep it in here. Um, in my car and it doesn't make the car smell or I might want to just put it in my pocket but the one thing that I have noticed with them with all the brands it's not specific to any one brand of dupe tube what I've noticed is it actually creates some sort of moisture in there when I do put my blunt in and I'll take my blunt out and my blunt will actually be a little bit more moist than it was when I put it in there so I'll have to re um, dry it <coughs> uh, so that's just one you know, the thing I've noticed about using those, I've been using them for a while. But other than that, uh, the, I really like the dupe tubes. And another storage container is the Bud Bottle, which we got a card for. I use this, I put some ground herb in here, and then um, put my vape pen, flip my vape pen upside down into it, and use that to pack um, my vape pen. But it's good odor, odorless storage, airtight, waterproof, and um, smell proof glass bottle. So definitely approve those. Um, also another thing that we got were these um, papers, these J-Wear uh, party size and king size papers. And also um, we each got hooked up with one of these holiday survival care packs. Yeah, Hotbox likes to do these little survival <laughs> care packs where they put uh, like some papers in there. It's um, awesome, I love it. And these. a lighter in here, so we got some elements. Um, we both got some zigzag apples, which we smoked all of. I actually really like this one. Yeah, they were good. They were really, really, they were really, really good. good. No, I think that's just like the leftover. Leftover, yeah, the two. Oh, I got, got me all excited. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't think we did. Um, We've gotten a few of these little the bracelets yep. from Rolling Paper Depot. Um, Keep calm, smoke on. Another dupe tube, and this one's from Rolling Paper Depot. The difference between the um, Buddy and the dupe tube from Rolling Paper Depot is the size. I can fit a whole blunt roll that hasn't been smoked yet in here. Whereas if I roll a blunt, it's not going to have to smoke it before it's going to fit in here. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's, um, joints it won't matter, but, uh, <coughs> for, for blunts, the, uh, the buddies. It won't work better. Just if you're going to hold the whole thing. Um, and then there's always a lighter in here, which there is. Right, we got the marijuana lighter. leaf lighter. Yeah, I like the, that one. That's really cool. Um, and then, uh, they have some the cyclones in here. These ones were clear. Yeah. They're called ice? We didn't open these yet. No, we did have one set. Uh, we smoked one set, I remember. Yeah, they gave me. These are called ice. What do they taste like again? What's ice? Cream? They're like, um, they're um, really like, uh, fresh, like fresh mint. Or I don't like, know about mint, but yeah, it's like this weird, like, laundry taste. Laundry? I don't know. It's kind of weird, tasty. But, uh, it's called iced, or ice dream. Ice dream. Yeah, and it's those were cool. And then, uh, finally, there's just a Rolling Paper Depot sticker. Yep. And, um, that sums up everything. And then this tells you what everything that was in there. They give you a little thing to make sure you got everything. So if you didn't get it, you call them back and say, hey, I'm missing my phone. <laughs> Whatever. No, but so. we got we got everything in there. We each got hooked up with one of those. So that was really awesome of them. Yep. Um, now, one of the main items that's sitting right in front of us is the trove. What is that thing? Is the trove by um, Green Wizard Products. And this is an interesting piece. It's got a strap so that you can put it around yourself. And then you open the top and you see that it's got this inner storage compartment. <laughs> You can fit a pack of papers. Oh yeah, you forgot the thing, the cookie dough papers. Did you oh yeah, those? no, I did. That's what we're smoking, smoking too. Cookie dough papers. Yeah, in our holiday survival kit, we got these cookie dough papers, which were pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, and um, these, like for example, fit they have little perfectly. Cookies. They have little cookies on them. Yeah, they're awesome. I I really like them. 
Um, so you can fit them right in there. And then you can put a couple of pre-rolls, some cones. Um, it's got some space that you can stash stuff. Uh, oh, sorry. It will not do that. Oh. Down here, you can stash some stuff. And then also, what you do, where'd the lid go? Oh, it's on me. Um, um, is you take this piece and it goes something like this. I know this. How does this work? Okay, like this. No. How does this work? Do you have to take the joints out of there? Oh, right. Maybe I do. I haven't used this much. Oh, that's kind of hard to get out. Maybe I should have put it down all the way. There we go. Okay. And what you can do is. You're supposed to be able to do is. I just did it. I just demonstrated this to one of my friends like an hour ago. It's supposed to grind. It it's does. It's supposed to be a grinder. Yes, it is a grinder. Awesome. And, um, we also saw this thing that uh, said that if it goes through the airport security, like the x ray machine, yeah. that you can't see through. Uh, <laughs> I didn't understand really. You could, because you could see this black piece in it, but you couldn't see anything that was actually in this black piece, I guess. So if you put something in there, then they couldn't see it. But yeah. I wasn't sure about that. Yeah, we saw that on their Instagram, so I like believe. This. There you go, he got it. So yeah, the, on the lid of the trove, it's got these like indentations. And but you gotta some... take this out first, right? The marijuana in there. Yeah. All right, you have to take this piece out. Oh, there you go. Yes, it looks good like job. A sad good face. job. So that's what one side looks. And then this is also. That's a side that would be grinding. Grinding, but then it looks like this weird sad face. <coughs> it's like. <laughs> and then this connects to this like that. And then you would put the top. You put your weed in there. <coughs> this top in there, and then you grind it. And then you have something grown. And you're yeah, supposed yeah. to actually be able to set this on here. And put your joint in here. And you can pack it like that. Um, so it's a little station for rolling. As well as holding. And you put that Grinding. there. Multi-purpose. Multi-purpose so. multi -purpose trail. Um, my only issue with this is one thing I think that it looks like is I think it looks like a thermos. So, if you were to go on a plane, wouldn't you want to open this up? Because wouldn't they think that you were bringing a drink and you can't bring any water on the plane? Yeah, in a container. So, in a container that size. Yeah. So, I would think that I would be asked to open this. Or asked if it had liquid in it. But I don't know. It's kind of a weird container. It's supposed to be really um, durable too. Apparently on YouTube they have a car running over it and it like... And it's waterproof. They're like if you could take a hiking or something like that. So um, I don't know. It's durable. It, it can handle the elements apparently. Interesting. So. Um, that's the green, uh, the trove by Green Wizard. We also got some famous Avis chocolate chip cookies that Which, Jay dug into. Yeah, I thought I had left two or three for the broadcast, but apparently I had left zero. Or me. No. Yeah. Didn't leave me any. Sorry about that. But yeah, chocolate chip cookies in two forms. Um, something that you leave Santa for the holidays. Oh. Yeah, oh yeah, we're still, uh, I'm forgetting that it's still holiday related. Yes. Yeah, we're doing this so far after. <laughs> and then, um, a very, very beautiful glass piece that we got, um, made by Chameleon Glass, is the Typhoon. <coughs> and, um, as you see, it has a couple of different compartments with little air directors on the side. And what it does, what those do is when you light it up and then inhale, the smoke gets directed around the um, around the edge of the pipe. And it goes through each of those holes. And you do see the smoke coming straight through, but it takes a little bit to kind of 
That's why it's called it a time period. But the thing is, you got to do it really slowly in order to get that. And usually I just it fill it up with smoke immediately after, on accident. Accidentally. And then I uh, end up coughing a whole bunch. So, if I, you'd uh, like me to demonstrate <coughs> how badly I cough when I get this, I will <coughs> gladly show you. Well, now you said it. So now you have to, like, do it. <laughs> oh, okay. And do you want me to grab the halfway? Because there's no halfway here, I just realized. Oh, well. Did we not get a halfway? Oh, no. wow, we didn't get a halfway from them. No. It's okay. It's no big deal. We have a handbook that we can use. You don't have to give it to us, Hot Pops. You did a good job. You did an awesome job. We loved it. We're still not done. I saw it spinning. And oh, you it saw it? it? My lips. It was like, ah! <laughs> you couldn't notice it spinning anymore. It was like, oh, oh shit. I'm about to get real high. Yeah, it's one right to me. Like when I looked when it came out, it was like, Rrr, but then it felt like a typhoon really... coming at you. It was pretty cool. Uh, ow, whoa. Hmm. That, was, that thing hits hard. It would be nice if I had a little water in it somewhere. Yeah, certainly. What? Uh, so, while well, Haley hits talking. that, um, and I'm not paying attention to that, and I'm like, whoa. Um, the other thing that came in here, you're probably wondering what's in this burlap sack. Um, it's a game. And she just handed me a, uh, a card to the game. It's a uh, uh, we Player tried game. We tried to play it one night. And he fell asleep. I was really tired that night. It wasn't a good night for me to try that. But, um, yeah, uh, it's interesting. It's about growing marijuana. Um, it's like a, what, four to, four to eight player game or something like that? A four player game. And, um, they, and each turn and it promotes them. working with each other and not just um, trying to win on your own. Because apparently you have to work with <coughs> everyone in order to win. Right, there's a grow key and then phase reference card, and there's equipment cards, there's karma cards, there's, right, like, Harsh Star Grove, the DEA raid. Harsh Star Groove. Oh, Groove. Oh, Groove. Yeah. Uh, damn, the man, lose all your potted plants to the karma pile, keep immature seeds. Yeah, and the DEA raid has, uh, Obama on it, which is pretty funny. Yeah, here's another one. Harshar Group, the Bogarts. Uh, it says, the friend who never has any weed and shows up with him, you lose two buds. Ha ha, because he came over and used your weed. Smoked your weed. So, um, so and, and it has these different cool looking dice. Yep, came with two dice. You roll a dice, take turns. The numbers that you roll dictate kind of what happens. If you mature seed, uh, grow buds, how many buds you grow, so story. So it's got it's got an interesting, interesting dynamic to it. We need, we need to get a couple more friends together and play this. Yeah, maybe we can do that tonight. Yeah, that's an option. Definitely. Instead of Scrabble. Instead of Scrabble. <laughs> Word games. Um, so is that everything? Do we have everything that we got from the hot box now? Uh yeah, I think so. Um Yep. We got stickers, we got Holders, we got holders, we got lighters, games, we cones, got mud bottles, snacks, we got joint papers, clothing, apparel, bowls, gear. ball, uh, not balls, but bowls, and uh, S the storage, storage, grinder, a weapon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard enough that you could really get well, some you like a car right over it, and it was okay. So imagine the like damage it can inflict on a human. Yeah, if you put a bunch of rocks in here, make it heavy, hit someone with it. Yeah. I know. I don't promote that at all. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry, I even said it. So. Uh, it's multi-purpose tool. Multi-purpose. Yes. All right. So, uh, thank you very much, Hopbox. Sorry, I'm losing my own posture here, but I've been slowly sitting <laughs> down. Um, 
<coughs> Is there anything you wanted to tell the viewers before we wrap up? <coughs> um, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, we'll be we're signed up to get the Valentine's Day limited care pack. You should sign up too. Yeah, definitely. Things for whether you're you single like or uh, with someone or not. I mean, they cater to what you are looking for. They give you a survey, you fill out your likes and dislikes. This was catered to our likes and dislikes. Um, I, I left a note saying, you know, hey, I don't want so many joint papers. They didn't send me so many joint papers. They really, really looked towards what I wanted and did a great job picking things out. So it's personalized to your likes and dislikes. What more could you ask for? None of the other box companies can do that. So. Right. So yeah, uh, right, she said, like us, subscribe to our YouTube page, um, and as always, stay lifted and stay tuned for our next review.